Well, better take two for the road. One for Maggie, one for me. <laughs> what are you looking at? Please just share with Maggie. <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to be a good day today. We're going to do something different here. We're going to be messing around by the islands. You know, it's not too often that you get a chance to get out in this part of Sturgeon Bay, mainly because we just don't get good ice conditions. And we've got some great ice conditions. We've got our rangers today. And uh, we're going to go out and have some fun and catch a bunch of whitefish and hopefully get on some giant walleyes. So. This is all on top of catch walleyes up here in the summer. But when you got this long break off to that tip, we're gonna run off to that tip too low. Just hit our third spot here, man. We're uh, we're up in northern Door County Island hopping up here. Uh, got good ice this year, so we just thought we'd get on out here and see what we could do. Uh, we're just spot checking for whitefish and just hooked up here. That's what we're looking for, one or down. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. It's a burbot. Oh, it's a burbot, a giant burbot! Oh, Whoa, oh, dude, oh, dude, dude. we're gonna stay and fish these things all day. Forget <laughs> the white fish. That's my favorite fish. Whoa! You like it, Maggie? Oh my gosh! Oh yeah. That gets me excited. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite things to do. And Lonnie said on the way out here that he heard that some guys were getting bourbon. And I'll tell you what. That right there is a trophy to me. Hold it up. Dude! Whoa! <laughs> Freaking A! Look at that. Oh, oh is that a nice one? Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, that's better eating than any walleye for sure. <laughs> Maggie, she even agrees. Four man's Dude, life. nice job, man. Keep the tires to this side. Twelve seconds later. Don't try to get it. Thing is anytime that you drop something through like this we hit a bad spot is you want to get your t-bar down on some solid ice so at least the machine doesn't if it does break through it doesn't go all the way down but we'll be a little anxious so this is all part of being an ice guy all part of the game Bar, what do you got? I got walleye. Walleye. Ooh. Is it big? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh my it God! It didn't take long. Check it out. There. <gasps> nice fish. Good job. That's a pretty fish. Nice job, Barbara. Thank you. What do you think? Oh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Die hard. Jesus. Perfect. <laughs> Die hard. You are something, man. These guys before told me when you and I were fishing together that I should have had some duct tape, duct tape your mouth. And I, I kind of like listening to you, you know? Well, of course, these guys got to work with you all year, so they're probably sick of listening to you. Yeah, it's perfect. Woo hoo! <laughs> How does he have your line from way over here? Dude, I'm gonna lose this fish. What's going on? Oh! Oh, that's a Whoa! Whoa! That's a mongo! Look at that! That is my first bourbon ever. Oh, and he thumped it though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. I love about bourbon. It's like a walleye thump, you know. And I think they're better eaten than a than a walleye any day of the week. Very cool. Hey, too. nice job, my friend. Hey, this is what you wanted, right? You're darn right. We're going to eat man. some dang no, good lunch here. now. Set up that hub. We're camping out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> night camping for bourbon. Yep. We don't need the night camp. We're going to get them right in the day. Oh, day two here. Uh, getting our stuff ready. Uh, what do you think, Larry, of day two? Day two, yeah, at least, uh, you know, today we're not really scouting. We're basically going to be fishing stuff that you've been fishing for a while now. Yesterday was a cool day, a lot of fun, um, a lot of excitement. Learned a lot about some currents out on, on the bay out there, especially around them islands we knew about. And, uh, you know, today is totally different day. Today is definitely a fish catching day for us. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we're just getting the guys going, getting the gear loaded into machines and heading over to the walleye ground. Pikeish. Oh, <laughs> She's smoking. Oh, oh. Get some water and put it on that reel. <laughs> you can grab that. Thanks a lot. <laughs> We're gonna have a hard time getting a hold of them. Oh, That's you watch. The scoop under, the scoop underneath them. Here, I got them. There we go. Pull them up a little higher, Ken. A little higher. There you go. What do you think about that? <laughs> Better than nothing, right, Ken? Yeah, yeah, I'll take them. Hey, everybody, welcome to our Leroy lunchtime. I can tell you what, that is the great part about being outdoors is having something hot and delicious to eat. And I can't think of anything better than some brats from Leroy's Meats. Oh, here we go. Boy, he just came flying right in on that. You know, we've been moving around like crazy and drilling a lot of holes. We're right up on this break right here. Ooh, there's a nice walleye right there. Just absolutely crashed that thing. Man, oh man, oh man. Look at that shiver minnow absolutely buried in his mouth right there. Woo! You know what? That's really what it's all about right there. I love to fish walleyes. You know, especially it doesn't matter if you're out in the Bay Green Bay like we are today with Lonnie or if you're up on Lake Winnebago. Man, I'll tell you something. Spring is in the air. It is absolutely awesome out here. No gloves. Took my big jacket off. What a difference from one day to another. You know, yesterday we basically fished in that blizzard up in Sturgeon Bay and had a great time. But boy, I'll tell you, today is definitely a beautiful day. We've been drilling holes up and down this break here. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time for these fish actually to come in. You know, Lonnie had one of his guys here a couple days ago. And basically the best bite was from about 11 till about two o'clock, which typically is not my favorite time for ice fishing, you know, late season like this. It's usually an early bite and a late bite. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll take them anytime I can get them. You know what, number one. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, Lonnie, you are always prepared. And let me tell you guys, this is a key tip for this week. 
is that when you look at the, the amount of equipment that he keeps in every one of his UTVs, it will get you out of a lot of different situations. So check this out. So yeah, all my machines, all our guys carry a dry bag. And we've got what they call a T-bar. Let's show everybody what that is. In case does. you ever get stuck, you can drill a hole and pop this down and winch yourself out. Um, you can you, you pin your rear end in, uh, so if you need to pull somebody, you're not sliding forward. That's probably one of the most, you know, when it comes to the tools, probably one of the best tools there is to carry with you. Yeah. Shackles? Yeah, shackles are great for They're like... Very important. Very important for a lot of times, if I'm pulling in houses, uh, we always have shackles on board, or we need to sling or rig something up with the small... Uh, the strap to the big strap. Hey Lonnie, let's talk about uh, the remote winch. Now, I love that idea because then you're not standing, you don't have to worry about getting in the machine if something's wrong with the machine, it's down or it's stuck, and you can get away from, you know, most of the time, most of these winches now don't have cables anymore. They're using a nylon rope that is super strong, um, but it's always good to get away from the machine when you're pulling it. It's nice to have a remote winch to kind of help you maneuver your machine versus sitting in there, the old school with the cord and the fob. Right. Or uh, the handheld, it's nice to have a fob. Oh, we got another flag. Can, uh, we got another flag, yep. we gotta go. Hey everybody, I'll tell you what, hey, you know what, be prepared. That's the key right there. You guys, we got more fish going on out here, so hang on to your hands. Hey, I'll tell you what, he's got a big fish on. I'll tell you, he just caught that one. Man. Yeah, we've been we, battling this one for a while, we've huh? We've been moving and shaking. I oh, just, oh. just, I just seen them come up. You know, that's the key thing. We took our whole team and we just basically spread out and just started walking and drilling. And I'll tell you what, uh, you and Aaron got on a couple of nice ones. Hunter came over here and now we're just moving the rest of the boys. But this is unbelievable. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at the head on that fish. Nice job, Lon. Yeah. Right. Hold that baby up there. That is a nice fish. Oh. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lonnie, what a difference between the two days, man. Yesterday, a big snowstorm. Today, we had fog, no wind at all. It hit probably almost 50 degrees. You know what? But let's talk a little bit about trophy walleyes. I mean, the ice season's almost done, obviously, but you're going to be in the boat fishing in a week or two, and it'll be game on. So let's talk a little bit about that, and let's let this big girl go. Yeah, if you guys want to get up in Sturgeon Bay and get on some big walleyes, West Shore, Fox, Sturgeon Bay, get a hold of us, we'll get you out. Uh, uh, so yeah, we're, we'll get on the spring walleyes. Let that big girl go. See you, girl. See you in a couple weeks. Look how pretty she is, huh? She is. She gone. Oh, pretty girl. There she goes. Nice job, buddy. Have them or you got them. If you do. That's, you can give me a hand if you want. Here's a little hey, I'll tell you what, I was just fishing some shallower water out there. It was getting to be that time of night, but man, oh man. Aaron. Dude, you are on fire today. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Lonnie, come here once. This one's probably bigger than the one you just caught. Oh my god. Look at the size of that. Oh my god. Lonnie, here quick. Oh, it's huge. That's huge, honestly. This is probably bigger than the one you caught. It's huge. It's a huge fish, man. Take your time, buddy. It's huge. I mean, it's huge. Oh, got it, got it. Oh, oh man, that's way over 30 inches. Oh, man. Hey, Lonnie, I'll tell you what, from fishing in a snowstorm yesterday, and boy, I'll tell you today, what an incredible afternoon we have had. I mean, all the guys out here today we've got fishing with us worked very hard. You know what, we all spread out, covered a lot of water. We finally got on these fish about an hour and a half ago. That's a trophy class fish right there. And I love the Meg's rod, man. That thing was just cranked right over. Hey, Aaron, let's let that big girl back in. You know what, congratulations, awesome Thanks. job. This is the best part about fishing is letting a big girl like that go. You know what, you want to get her mounted, you can get a replica. Oh yeah, get that. She gone, she gone. Hey, smile from one end to another. Bite it just like you did on that. Ooh, look at him go. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. I love to see that. Almost looks 
looks like dental floss on here. <laughs> I'll push the real back for you there. That's Got any of that up. brat in your teeth? Definitely don't set the hook out that little thing. Yep, just a little. That's plenty. Oh, right. look at that. Was He's like a tampon on that one. Oh, yeah. Puker. I heard Lon goes out here railing. <laughs> What do we say, oh, buddy? If somebody go, said, oh my goodness. That's, oh my goodness. That's a big one. Oh, that's a, that's, oh, 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 that's a good one. Oh, 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 dude. That's a good right one. Right here, boys. Oh. Yeah, we gotta like, get it in the hole. That is a nice fish. Remember, we got that's all the time. Just let them go. Let them go. You got them. Hi, how much you know time what? we got? We got all the time in the world because you know something? We are in the prime time for big walleyes. You know what? And that's the whole thing. Here we go, buddy. There you go, Rick. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is bigger than the last one you just caught five minutes ago. Yes. That is a tank. Wow. Look at that. You know, again, like we were talking, you know what? It's boat time for most people, but there's something about ice fishing. And I'll tell you what, you got a big one just a couple of days yeah, ago. I saw pounds, on pounds. social media and got it on the biting box. Again, that number 20 trouble hook, you know, it's just, what can you say? Fishing and, you know, catching some big fish. It's hey, been good. Yeah, that's a number 20 treble hook. Number Ronnie, what did you think of that hook when we showed you this morning? I was like, make me a believer. You made me a believer. Right? Right? Hey, let's get that fish on hook and get her back and let's, let's get, get some another more. one. Right. Yes. I got some awesome. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Aaron, get back to Jake's line. Go get him. Pretty decent, actually. Oh, yeah. That's what we're after out here. All right, I got to tell you. It's been a while since my heart been, has been thumping when I've had a fish on. Fish like this, that'll do it to you. That may be my personal best walleye through the ice too, but it may be just deceiving because of the belly on it, but whew. Oh my God, congratulations. That's a nice fish, guys. That is a trophy. Oh, it's 17 and a half inch girth. That is a beaut. All right, so we'll go back and do our thing. Ooh, in a hurry. It's been really, really good. Here's a good one. Oh, it's a really, really good one, actually. Hey, we need some help, Rick. Oh, he's on the edge of the ice. My jacket. Okay, I got him. That's absolutely crazy. I meant oh. I didn't want to get the hooks in. Oh, oh my God! No, buddy. This is like incredible. Again, you know, the guys are fishing in the boats, they're catching them like crazy, but like you were saying, you know, it's like shooting a big buck. Like you just said, you and I were talking before you came over, shooting a big buck with a bow is one thing, shooting a buck with a gun is another thing, and this is definitely like hunting big bucks with a bow. Ice fishing is my favorite thing, and we're almost done, but I'll tell you, what an incredible, incredible day we had. The last two days, man, just... I don't even know this what to has say. Been, this has been epic. This was uh, Sturgeon Bay years ago used to be like this where we get those 8, 9, 10 pounders and you know and uh, with a pile of 18 to 21s tonight's just been epic or this afternoon to now and it's just a special day. Uh, hey let's not talk either. anymore. Throw that fish man. <laughs> let's get let's catch some more. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Hey everybody great teamwork you guys i really appreciate everybody you know no doubt when it comes to fishing especially when you're fishing big water like we were doing the last two days teamwork really pays off and you could see that as what happened here this afternoon probably one of the most epic walleye ice fishing shows that i've ever done or ever seen we just everything was just perfect and a lot of hard work. I'll tell you, Lonnie, let's tell people how they can get a hold of you because you know what? Spring is here, and obviously the Bay of Green Bay is full of big fish, and they're wanna, they're gonna wanna give you a call. Yeah, we're wrapping up ice season, but if you wanna get on some big spring uh, trophy walleyes, give me a call, 
0282 or check us out at greenbaytrophyfishing.com or our Facebook page at Green Bay Trophy Fishing. That's awesome. Hey everybody, the Bite Me boxes are sold out for this year, but I'll tell you what, this fall there'll be plenty for sale. And like every time we fish with Rick and Terry and anybody that uses them, you know they're the, a superior tip up for sure. Hey, what a great day and we really appreciate everything and everybody watches. But what we really appreciate is all of our men and women in the armed service and all of our law enforcement and firefighters and paramedics and all of you hardworking Americans. Remember, like we always say, we are still living in the greatest country in the world and no doubt it's a great day to be alive. And guess what? We'll see you next week and thanks for joining us. Nice, job, nice eater. Nice little Green Bay eater here. Oh, man. Hold that one. We're not even filming a lot of the 16, 18 inches. <laughs> they just jump out of the hole. They just jump out of the hole and off.